She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Stephanie and I do videos on woodworking tutorials, DIY projects, room makeovers, really anything home related. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and you can also find me over on Instagram at home with Stephanie so you can see what I'm up to there. Today I am showing you a tutorial on how to make this beautiful desk, but first I wanted to show you a picture of the inspiration that I found for this desk. So this is made by Ave Home or Av Home. Um, I came across this picture on Pinterest multiple times. I kept going back to the desk because it was so beautiful and I thought it would fit our home office perfectly, but it was $2,774. Definitely not in the budget, so I decided to DIY something similar and this desk I was able to make for under $250. So this desk has three huge functioning drawers, which is great for storage. Um, there's a lot that went into making these drawers, so I plan to post a whole other video on how to make these inset drawers. The desk is unfinished right now because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with it. Um, if I wanted to stain it or paint it or leave it natural and just seal it nice. So I plan to put a poll up on my Instagram so you guys can help me decide how to finish the desk. But either way, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It fits our home office perfectly and I'm going to walk you guys through how you can make the desk also. I got all of my materials from Home Depot. I'm super excited about all of the unique trim detail on this desk. I didn't use the brown hardboard. I was planning on using that for the bottom of my drawers, but I just used some scrap plywood instead. In the description of this video, you'll find a link to my blog post, and I have a complete list of all of the tools and materials that I used. On my blog post, I also have a cut list, and that is based off of a desk that is 59 inches long by 32 inches wide and 31 inches high. For the desk, I used two 4x8 sheets of half inch birch plywood and I had Home Depot cut the pieces of plywood down so that I could fit them in my car. Once I got the lumber home I used my circle saw to cut all the pieces down to the size that I needed. I used a scrap piece of straight lumber as a guide for my circle saw so I made nice straight lines. The legs that I got from Home Depot were too long for my desk, so I cut them down on my miter saw to 19 inches. I like to dry fit all of my pieces before I start screwing them together just to make sure they fit. You can also take this time to mark out where you will need your pocket holes to go. If you're using half inch plywood like me, set your Craig jig to the half inch material thickness setting. I made sure to have all of my pocket holes facing the inside of the desk so that you don't see them at all. Next, I laid out all of my boards and I sanded them down. I started with 120 grit sandpaper, then I moved to 180 and finished with 220 fine grit sandpaper. I also took a piece of sandpaper and hand sanded the legs down because they were a little rough. Secure all of your plywood pieces together except for the bottom plywood pieces. If you're using half inch plywood, you'll want to use one inch pocket screws. I started with the back plywood piece and then did the two outside pieces and then finished with the two inside plywood pieces.
attach your legs to the two outside corners of each of your bottom plywood pieces. I used wood glue and wood screws to attach my plywood to the legs. To prevent the wood from splitting, I first drilled a small hole where I wanted each of my screws to go. For each leg, I used three screws and I found it easiest to set the materials on the ground and work up next to a wall. Flip the bottom plywood piece with your legs over and secure these pieces to the rest of your desk using wood glue and wood screws. Once again, I pre-drilled holes first before drilling my screws in to prevent the plywood from splitting. Make sure to drill your screws straight in to prevent your screws from popping out either side of the plywood. For each bottom plywood piece, I used about seven screws. Okay, so the legs are secured, the bottom plywood piece is secured. I used about seven screws. Um, the screws that I used were way too long, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. But other than that, everything looks good. Now I'm going to flip this over somehow and add all of my trim detail. Okay, so for the trim, I have this for the top all the way around. And then this trim is going to go all along the bottom of the desk. So all along the bottom and on the back and all the way underneath there as well, all the way around. So this is for my bottom trim and I'm cutting it at a 45 degree angle so that it meets up perfectly like that. Apply your trim using wood glue and one inch brad nails.
so all of the bottom and the top trim is done. Now I'm going to work on the trim for the corners. So for the corners I'm using the same trim as the top, but the top end I'll cut at a 30 degree angle and the bottom end at a 45 degree angle so that it fits in here a little nicer and it'll look like that. So I'm going to do one here and then I'll do one on this side also so they meet up in the corner. I'll do the same thing on that side and then over here I'm just going to do one like that. To the face of my desk where my drawers will be, I used some birch edge banding to hide the raw plywood edge. This is my first time using the edge banding, but I am really happy with how it turned out. You can cut it down to length, then you just apply the edge banding using an iron set to the cotton setting. Rub the banding to make sure it adheres, and then cut off any excess using a utility knife or sharp blade. Use wood filler to fill in all of the nail holes and any other large seams in your desk and the trim. Sand off the excess wood filler using a hand sander for the larger flat surfaces and a piece of folded sandpaper for the finer detailed parts. Like I mentioned before, there's a lot that went into making these drawers, so I will be posting another tutorial on how to make these inset drawers, so check back for that video tutorial soon. And last, you can apply stain or paint or whatever polyurethane you choose to finish off the desk. I'm kind of digging the lighter unfinished wood look, but we'll see what happens.